Welcome to Selenium Training at QTPSelenium.com. Today we will see the data driven framework. Data driven framework can be made using Selenium RC as well, Selenium WebDriver. You should not use Selenium RC now because it's already been deprecated and WebDriver is the latest version. Now giving you a brief overview of what we, we are gonna make in this. Okay, We will be having a sheet called test cases in data driven framework. In this excel file I have, I have like many test cases out here TCIDs like login test, create lead, create task. This is of some web application and each test case has got a run mode associated with it. Okay, I will just increase the font for this. Right, Each test case has a certain run mode associated with it which states that whether to run this test or whether not to run this test. Fine. And there is a result column which tells whether the test is passed or failed. And there is a start time and end time. That is when did this test start and when did, when did this test end. Now we can like to execute our test case with more than one set of data as well. Okay, And we will be reading the data from an excel file. So that is we will be parameterizing our test case. The selenium script will check the run mode and will pick the data from an excel file and it will run the test. If we have, if we want to execute, suppose I want to execute my login test for 5 times with 5 different sets of username and password. So what I will do, I will give 5 different sets of usernames and passwords in an excel file. And this is that excel file in which you keep the test data. So this is TC1 sheet in this excel file which is holding the test data for the test. Okay, username, password, title of some page and the run mode column value that means whether to run this test with this set of data or not. Okay, so what selenium script will check? Selenium script will check the run mode from this uh, test cases sheet and then it will go into test data sheet and it will execute the corresponding test case with different sets of data one set of data per row and if the run mode for that set of data is yes then only it will be executed pass or fail will be coming here otherwise skipped will be printed here okay along with it when we generate the test ng xs lt reports when the test ng xs lt reports are generated then we will be seeing a report like this out at that point of time uh, let me show you the reports as well the xs lt reports will look something like this so there's a graph as well in the test ng xs lt reports so we'll be associating screenshots, reporting, logging, we'll be doing a lot of stuff in framework. Now let's look at the code, how we will be doing it. This is with JUnit, a small a brief code. This is my log 40 properties, which we had studied in module 7. I have config.properties, or.properties in which I have kept all my X paths and all, right? Then I have got the data table, that is the XLS reader class, which helps me to read the Excel file test base class then the test cases for suite 1 are present here okay so there are a lot of stuff which we are gonna do so let's start with it i will make a new project here 